Welcome back to the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California for an intriguing heavyweight bout between a former world champion, Tony Tucker, who held the IBF version of the title three or four years ago, and his opponent, Calvin Jones. Tony Tucker, one of the most underrated fighters in the division. Really uh, surprised Tyson. Here we see action from their fight in 1987, that left uppercut. That was the first time we'd ever seen Tyson take a backward step. That's the left uppercut lands flush on the chin. Tyson, his legs go from under him briefly, but uh, that was as close to glory as Tony Tucker got on that day in August 1987 in Las Vegas which is his hometown as well. He was the IBF title holder then. Mike Tyson held the WBC and WBA titles and, of course, unified them after that. And his opponent is the 26-year-old Calvin Jones from Tennessee, from Bristol, Tennessee. He's got a record of 14-3 and three with eight KOs, but really, really a club fighter and uh, not a man that you'd expect to be in Tony Tucker's league. And it's scheduled for 10. Hey I'd be surprised fans, if it goes go. that Our far. Next event is a featured bout with the big man of boxing in the ring, heavyweights in action, scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with gold trim. He's originally from Las Vegas, Nevada, now fighting out of the great city of Los Angeles. He weighs in tonight at 242 and one half pounds with an outstanding record of 31 wins. One loss, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He's the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, currently ranked number 20 by the WBC. Please welcome Tony T. T. Tucker. That's quite a build-up for the former world champion. And his opponent has sure problems over the years, right, last year or so. Where he's coming right back now. This is Jones. Red trunks with white trim. Fighting out of Bristol, Tennessee. His weight, 243 and one half pounds. With a record of 14 wins, three losses, eight wins by way of knockout. Introducing a boxer known as Concrete, Calvin Jones. Very in charge of this bout. Now to give instructions, Dr. James so, Concrete Calvin Jones against Tony TNT Tucker. Be a dynamite contest. Is, uh, Tucker certainly had a few problems, as I said earlier, over the last few months. Jungle All his problems like have been out of the ring, Martins. really, since he lost that fight Martins. against Mike Tyson. But uh, he the says Martins. he's put all his problems behind him. And certainly Tucker is looking to get back into the world title picture. And he certainly has a tail of the tape. For once, Tony Tucker unable to look down on his opponent, and he's even giving away a pound. I think that's going to make too much difference. An inch reach advantage, and uh, it's just about at the peak of his powers now, Tony Tucker, 31. They say the heavyweights mature at around the 30 age, which makes you wonder what uh, Mike Tyson's going to be capable of in a few years' time. Tyson, of course, now back in business after that shock loss against Buster Douglas. Tucker in the silver, Calvin Jones in the red. Got the giants of the ring here. Round one scheduled for ten. And Tucker's corner will be hoping this is another stepping stone on the road back to respectability for their man. Certainly in his day, three or four years ago, he was one of the most underrated fighters in the division. Knocked over Jimmy Young. That went to points in the end. That was in 1984. And Jimmy Young, of course, was... Uh, well past his sell-by date and down goes Jones immediately he looks angry with himself he's he looks perfectly all right it went down from a left hand just didn't see it coming and he's fine there's no problem there bit of an embarrassment there for, for Jones he was very cross with himself you can see banging the floor and banging the canvas in frustration and if Jones came into this contest 
without his mind focused on the job it's focused now Jones has a reputation of being a, a very solid chinned fighter indeed and he's going to need it against a man with 29 knockouts and a man who's looking for his 30th here early in this first round Tucker looking for an early night's work Jones already in a bit of trouble here in this opening session. Left hand from Tucker put him on his back. The left hook. Tucker lands a right hand and Jones is shaken again. He's covering up. I don't see this one going much further. It's a minute left. Can he survive? Tucker scoring at will now. Jones trying to fight his way back into the contest but he's on the ropes. Tucker walking with purpose and his punches are landing. Jones ducking and diving, trying to stay out of harm's way. That's wicked body shot went in there from Tucker, that right hand to the body. That saps your morale. I so say if you take the body, the head will surely follow. Tucker looking very sharp indeed in this opening session of this scheduled 10 rounder a oh, good right hand there Jones looking like a man out of his league here I can't see this one going much further looks like he's going to survive the round if ever a man needed a minute's breather it's Calvin Concrete Jones Jones very unhappy at the end of that first session, he was given uh, something of a shellacking in that opening session. Looking a bit out of his class as his cornermen had some stern words with their man. He came in as a reputation for having a very good chin. And he certainly looks in good physical condition as well, but Tucker threatened to take him out early there in that first session. Jones stuck with it, and he's still there. Let's take a look at some of the action. The knockdown, it's the left hand, very, very innocuous. It was enough to deposit Jones on his backside, and you could see immediately a very, very short left hook. Timed perfectly, and although it took George, it took Jones's balance, it's more a balance problem than anything, it wasn't hurt. And he was furious with himself straight away, but he took an awful lot of stick immediately after that as well. Not an impressive round for Calvin Concrete Jones. Round two then, scheduled for ten here at the Great Western Forum, Inglewood, California. Tony Tucker, the former world champion. Jones circling warily, treating his man with a bit of respect, as well he might. Jumps in there, lands on left and uh, gets out of the way again. Doesn't seem to have an effect on Tucker. Tucker's been in with a couple of bangers in his time. Jimmy Young, of course, fought all the greats, had a memorable fight with Muhammad Ali 10 or 15 years ago. A lot of people thought Young had done that, done Ali, but uh, it was Ali that got the decision. But when Young met Tucker in 1984, as Jones lands a right hand, Tucker was a young man on the way up. Jones. I'm sorry, Young, very much at the end of his career. Tucker went on to take a points decision off the giant James Broad as well. That was in 1986. And in May 1987, he won the vacant. Oh, no, wicked. No, that was a low blow. Was it a low blow? Jones went down. It looked, looked, like, a, looked like a body punch. It might have been a bit low, and he's getting a count. He's up at eight. The referee not impressed with Jones's claim that that was a low punch. Certainly looked legal to me. This is a repo of that later on. Jones tried to claim it was low. The referee had none of that. Up at eight. Be interesting to see a replay of that. It was certainly borderline, but we'll have to have a look. But it's gone into the book as a as a as a knockdown. If Jones didn't have enough on his plate. He's now got two knockdowns contend with. Jones landing in a couple of blows of his own. 
very wild. Tony Tucker very much in control here. As I was saying, he won the title, the vacant IBF title in 1987. Stopped an ankle Buster Douglas in the 10th round. Douglas, of course, the current undisputed world heavyweight champion following that sensational defeat of Mike Tyson in Tokyo. But Tucker beat him. That's, that's a measure of the quality of this man. Last 30 seconds. Tucker stalking his man. It's been a disastrous couple of rounds this for Jones. Tucker looking very, very sharp here. Last few seconds. We'll take a break at the end of this round and we'll be right back for the rest of the contest. And welcome back to the Great Western Forum. There's the, uh, the replay of that low blow and it has been ruled a, a, a low blow. Although uh, I think Jones tried to make out that it was lower than it actually was. It was certainly low but uh, not quite as low as Mr Jones made out. But, um, Maybe I'm doing a disservice. Round three then. Tucker building up a huge points lead. In this ten round contest. Jones looking very, very out of sorts at the moment. His timing has gone. His range non-existent. And so far there's no indication at all that he can do anything to disrupt the composure of his opponent, the former IBF world champion, Tony TNT Tucker. a punishing left jab. Still looking with those left leads. Tucker commits himself, takes a couple of punches in return. Jones treating his opponent with a great deal of respect now. He's been hurt, he's been embarrassed, and perhaps you wonder what's going through his mind, whether he thinks he can uh, do anything against this formidable opponent, the giant Tony Tucker. Tucker coming back after oh, a couple of years layoff, really. Jones also lost in his last outing as well to another former world champion. If you're a fan of Frank Bruno, you won't forget the name James Bone Crusher Smith in a hurry. Smith, of course, who went on to annex the WBC version of the title with a sensational one-round stoppage of terrible Tim Witherspoon a few years ago before losing it to Tyson in the uh, very boring fight. Bone Crusher stayed out of trouble the whole time. Of course, he did Bruno in the last 30 seconds of their 10-rounder. Bruno had outboxed him. Only to fall under a hail of heavy blows from the bone crusher. So Jones goes in with some decent men. But is perhaps not in their class. And he's hit again low. And they had, his, they had their back to us then. I'm afraid I didn't see whether that was low or not. But certainly Calvin Jones... Not looking very happy with life, and nor's this man, Tony Tucker. It'll be interesting to see a replay of that one. And Jones stays down. Well, let's take a look at that one again. Let's watch Tucker. Well, that looked low. That looked low, and certainly the reaction from Calvin Jones immediately. An immediate look of pain on his face, and he went down fast. Uh, we didn't actually see where the punch landed, but it certainly looked low. Um, he gets as much time as he needs to recover. I'm trying to walk it off. Well, the crowd don't like it, but uh, they weren't hit. And again, we don't quite have the perfect camera angle. 
but you could see that it must have hit him below, considerably below the belt, possibly even on the upper thigh. That was a long way south of the border, that one. And Tucker acknowledging it, so no question that was a low blow. Last few seconds then of the third round, another eventful round. Welcome back to round four. Scheduled for ten, and it's becoming a bit one-sided here. At the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California, Tony Tucker taking it easy and hitting his opponent, Calvin Concrete Jones, more or less at will. They've had three rounds, and in each of them, Calvin Jones has uh, made a close acquaintance with the canvas first time from that short left hook, the second time from what he claimed was a low blow, certainly was borderline, although it was ruled a knockdown, and the third time quite clearly a low blow, which he was given plenty of time to recover, and which Tucker acknowledged afterwards as well, so not been a happy night for Calvin Jones. Tucker nailed him right there, look. Another very borderline blow. Jones looking in real distress. There's a count. Let's take a look at it. Well, there's no question about that. There's no question about that being a low blow. Jones has gone down like he's been shot. He's recovered. But uh, Tucker will take a lot of heart from that. If this guy hasn't got a genuine midsection, he's going to be taken out of there. He's on his bike now. They're getting booed, they're getting booed, they're not impressed. This Great Western Forum crowd, and Tucker goes in for the kill, the gum shield goes out, Tucker starts to unload, Jones trying to fight back. Tucker landing an awful lot of punches. Strange character, this Jones, he's going down at every opportunity that he can. And yet, he keeps getting up and uh, he's taking some heavy punches in this contest. can't say he hasn't got the heart for it. The mouthpiece restored to Jones, who's covering up. Not even trying to make a fight of it. Solid, devastating body punches going in from the former champion now. And I wonder how much longer this one's going to go on for. So it's a, it's a visit to the canvas per round. That record been maintained already here in the fourth round. Jones goes down again, again trying to claim a low blow, no question about that one. Just lands a, a wild right hand, but it lands on the back of the head. Tucker won't be bothered with that. Last 30 seconds of the fourth round then, another eventful round. And poor old Calvin Jones being exposed here. Jones swinging wildly and missing by a long way. It's a good performance this from Tucker, rehabilitating himself after his out of the ring problems, looking for another shot at the world title. There's the bell for the end of the fourth round. Another bad round for Calvin Jones. Doesn't that look like a face of a man who knows he's going nowhere fast? He survived four, he's got six to go if he's going to hear the final bell. I'm getting some attention on that left eye. Got a swelling underneath the eye there. He's taken a lot of punishment, Jones. Been down four times. And they're trying to turn to trying to say to back him up. Well, it's tough to back up a man like. Tony Tucker, not even Tyson could manage that. Let's have a look at that low blow again. Oh, there's the gum shield going out. Some solid punches there. And Tucker unloading on his man almost at will. Start of the fifth round then here at the Great Western Forum in Inglewood. Tucker, four rounds ahead on my card. He's had Jones down plenty of times, and you wonder how much longer this one's going to go on for. Calvin Jones rejoices in the nickname Concrete. He 
He's certainly looking a little stressed at the moment. This is a good performance from Tucker. Hasn't fought since December. It's only the second fight he's had in two years. He's done well. He'll be pleased with his night's work. If it stays that way, of course. But Jones is still there. Here in the fifth, the early moments of round five. Good straight right hand there. That had an effect. That's a good solid right uppercut. Tucker scoring at will now. Jones doesn't look to have a lot left. Very long, lazy right hand there. Parried on the arm by Tucker. Oh, and he landed that one, though. Tucker felt that one. He stood up well. Bit of encouragement there for Tucker, for, uh, for Jones. But Tucker took it well. Tries it again. It's the same punch again. But Jones starts to unload. Jones, Jones looking tired. Jones sagging visibly there. Is he running out of gas? Here in the fifth round. Midway through this fifth round. Minute left. Jones looking very, very tired. Not much snap in these punches now. There's that long, looping right hand. And there's a delayed effect there. Right hand from Tucker. Jones crashed down. He leant on his man. And when Tucker stepped back, Jones kept on going. His momentum took it down. He's out. He is out for the count. Blowing hard. I think the doctor's stepping into the ring. Calvin Jones is seeing stars at the moment. So Tony Tucker wins by a knockout in the fifth round. And uh, to be fair, it was pretty routine for him against this man who was really out of his depth. He lost against Bone Crusher Smith. Now he's lost to Tony Tucker as well. Let's take a look at it again. Kind of a delayed reaction. It looks very, very tight. It's the right hand followed by the left. It's a combination there. And as he sags to the canvas, it was the combination of the right followed by the left that, uh, that have unhinged him. So, an excellent performance there from Tony TNT Tucker, keeping his dreams of another world title fight very much alive. His second win, his second contest in two years. We'll take a we'll take a short break now, and we'll be right back in just a few moments. Join us again soon. Welcome back to the Great Western Forum, Inglewood, California. We've just seen Tony Tucker achieve his the thirtieth knockout of his career with a fifth round KO of Calvin Concrete Jones. And here is Tucker. Let's go and join Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, nine seconds in round number five. Winner by way of knockout, Tony TNT Tucker. So it's official. Tony Tucker wins by a knockout in the fifth. He'll be talking to our Ruben Castillo in just a moment. Okay, thank you very much, Tom. Tony, after fighting a guy like Mike Tyson, how, how do you get up and how do you get prepared to fight a guy like uh, Calvin Jones? Oh, well, I've been off two years. I've been off a long time, you know. And um, during the time I was off, I matured a lot. But um, getting up with Calvin Jones, I get up with every fight because Calvin Jones was, was my, uh, like a stepping stone. He was in the way for me to get Mike Tyson. If he would have beat me tonight, I wouldn't have got to Mike Tyson. So I looked at him just like I look at Mike Tyson. You know, but only I look at Mike Tyson a little harder because I was in a fight with Mike Tyson. And I knew that I know I can beat him, but um, I was in the fight, you know, uh, not fully prepared. I had a broken right hand, you know, uh, 10 days prior to the fight. But I know I can beat Mike Tyson. Everybody thinks Mike Tyson is, is invincible. But what's going to be Mike Tyson is pain. And I'm in the house of pain. And I'm going to give him pain when I get to him. All right, Tony, listen, um, I want to take a look at the first knockdown. And I want you to explain to us what's going on here. All right, now I'm just trying to fill him out, you know. And he came in to me, and that hook was just right there, you know, on, on the mark, you know. 
you know, just reaction, just reaction. I think it was a surprise. I'm sure he was surprised of that of that left hook. It was such a short left hook. Now, you were off for two and a half years after Mike Tyson. Why didn't you continue to fight the contenders? Because after going that the, the distance with Michael and hurting him with that uppercut that you did, why didn't you continue going on with the contenders and, and uh, making some money? Well, you know, fighting Mike Tyson, you know, I... Uh, it was my first loss, you know, which really was, a, you know, painful to me. I never, I, I never understood it. Cause it didn't compute. And after I got in the fight, I knew I wasn't fully healthy. I knew I could beat him. But I got out the fight, and then uh, everybody got my money. You know, everybody just cut me up like a pie. You know, I didn't even get a half of what I was supposed to get. So I said, if this way boxing is, this way boxing is going me, I don't need to be in the game. You know, because I give a lot to the game. Well, I can understand where you're coming from there. Let's take, let's take a look at the final knockout. What happens? And I want you to tell us what you, what your thoughts were here. Right here, you know, and I, and I knew it was kind of wild and awkward. I just wanted to get rid of him, you know, and the, the, I had him do some good short shots, you know, and uh, I feel real strong in there, you know, but uh, it just, 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 this, this is my path to the championship, to Mike Tyson. I'm at Pam, I'm at the House of Pain. I train on Pain Lovers Road, and it's going to be a painful fight for Mike Tyson. I'll be dishing it out. Can he become a champion? He is a champion. He's a champion oh, all the way. Champion. He just didn't have the, all the tools to fight Mike Tyson. But Tyson got to go. I come to upset him with Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker is a fighter that will upset Mike Tyson. Thank you very much. Let's go back to ringside to Tom Kelly. Uh, we apologize for the sound quality of that interview, but uh, obviously Tony Tucker very much back in business and looking for Mike Tyson. And also presumably looking for Buster Douglas as well, the current undisputed world champion.